I'm going to do right now is just saw a blank piece from a bigger piece of steel. This is the blank piece that we've cut off from a bigger piece of steel. We make a knife out of this. And Trek USA has traction grooves on the back of the knives and this operation will put those on. We have to do two pieces at a time. We have to make sure that the edges are flat so that it will drill properly. We put them in this fixture and drill them. We put the two pieces of steel in here and then we tighten these screws down so that the steel won't walk out when the drill hits it. You have to screw them down really tight. I use two screws in order to do that. And you screw them down so tight that they actually bend this piece of metal so we have this bridge to keep that from happening. Now we're going to take them out and turn them over and do the hole for the Spanish notch which is on the edge side of the blade. You can see the uh, notches in there. And we put them opposite, put them back in. Then we have to drill in a specific hole. that's the notch. What we're going to do now is drill the handle screw holes and the thong hole tube. that we need in the handle. Okay, then we're going to tap them. I'm going to put a little bit of cutting oil in the holes and then I'm going to tap the holes using this uh, reversible drill that I have set up with a tap in it. three holes have threads in them now. Now the piece is ready to go to heat treat. What we do is we take it down to Blanchard Metals Processing in Salt Lake City, um, usually 50 to 100 pieces at a time. Uh, they put it into a vacuum furnace, heat it up to about 1750 degrees, and then they take it out of the furnace and air quench it, which is basically hanging it up in a room with a bunch of fans in it and it cools itself down to room temperature and then they pack it in dry ice which is a sub-zero stabilized and uh, 440c absolutely requires that in order for it to work well as a knife after that they heat the steel back up to about 400 degrees and cool it and check the hardness and then they will put it back in and heat it up again. This is called a double draw 
they're they're actually tempering the steel and they put it in and heat it up to a temperature that will make sure that the steel is at 57 to 58 Rockwell C scale, which is what I require. This is a blank that's come back from the heat treat. It doesn't really look much different, but if you look at it close, you can see kind of a yellowish tint to it. That's from the draw temperature. It brings it up to kind of a straw yellow. Okay, we're at the surface grinder right now. And we have to surface grind because this is mill run steel and it comes to us um, anywhere from 15 to 30 thousandths oversize. It's too thick. We're, uh, we're going to take this down to a 3 8 inch, or 3 16 inch and it's, uh, it's probably 20 thousandths oversized right now. So we're going to do that. Um, I like to do all of the work on the knife after it's heat treated. Uh, most of the knives will warp just slightly in heat treat and if I if I surface grind them after that then I get them nice and flat and parallel. The surface grinder is just a big rock that goes around back and forth and across and this grinder um, has numbers on the wheel here each big number is one thousandth of an inch if we wanted to we could do the numbers that are in between which are one ten thousandth of an inch it's a very precise machine what we're doing here is just moving it to where we can see if it's clear we're going to start it up and start moving. this side down to flat, we're going to flip it over and finish the grind. Ninety-two thousandths, about five thousandths over, or four and a half thousandths over, what three sixteenths is. But I always over build everything, and we're right on the money, one hundred and ninety-two.